Hey guys, I'm really upset um, because I was hoping you guys would interact with me on Discord. Hold up, so you're telling me that this dude gets arrested on live stream, and then his first video that he makes back on the internet is just like, man, you know, I'm sitting here in this mental health crazy person jail, and I'm really sad that people aren't hitting me up on Discord. He got arrested, and he doesn't care about not making money, he just misses the Discord kittens. What the fuck? <laughs> So anyways, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy, Lofi, here, and as I predicted on Twitter, like, a day or two ago, Fousey didn't actually go to jail, the cops thought he was so crazy that they decided to lock him up in a rubber room, and now he can't leave. Um, can't leave the hospital until I get clearance from the police, so I've been here for four days now. Bro, this man got arrested in Florida. Florida! Of all places. And he's like, oh yeah, it's up to the cops to decide when I want to leave. You know, they can just be absolute assholes and be like, you know what? You're going to stay in there for the rest of your life. Have fun live streaming, dropping the soap in the mental prison. Like, dude, seriously, it was obvious from, you know, if you watched the last video I, I made. If you didn't, then uh, go watch that and also follow me on Twitter. Uh, link in description. And But, um, dude, the cops were like, all right, man, you're clearly delusional. You're crazy. You know, you, you're off your meds, dude. Like, I, I took my meds today. Shoot. They, they, they're right here. I, I took these bitches. Fousey needs to be on his meds, or if he's not on meds, bro, take them hoes. It's gonna suck for like two weeks, but after that, you're gonna feel good. You know, go, go to a therapist. You got all that money, right? You can pay for fucking Dr. Doolittle to pull up on your ass and be like, bro, here's some ketamine. You're all good now. But yeah, in case you guys haven't seen it yet, I thought that together we could take a look at Fousey's first video that he released from Crazy People Jail. Roll that shit. Hey guys, I'm really upset um, because I was hoping you guys would interact with me on Discord. I'm here with Bassam. But you guys are being really weird, so forget about it. Yeah, uh, all your fans and everybody else on the entire internet is being weird. Yeah, we're the weird ones because we didn't uh, freak out on the Florida police and say that we were going to slice someone's penis off and end up in a middle hospital. Yeah, we're the weird ones because we didn't uh, be your Discord kittens. Yeah, honestly, it's so weird that that's the first thing he thought. He's just like, you know, I really expected all of y'all to hit me up on Discord, bro. Why haven't my Discord kitten sent me the nudes, man? I'd been in jail for four days, dude. Where the fuck is my Discord peepees? I'm here with Bassam. Look, I haven't paid much attention to Fousey these past couple months, but who is this guy? He's like, bro, I'm here with Bassam. Like we're, like, we're supposed to know who that is? Who is this dude? Like, Fousey has made some friends with some weird people, you know, like Sneeko, this other weird guy. Actually, hold up, you know what? I'm gonna play this clip really quick that I saw of Fousey's friends asking his old security guard what he thinks of Fousey. Freaking insider interview about what is actually going on with Fousey by someone who was literally in the room when he got arrested. Roll it. Security got flashbacks. How was your experience with Fousey? You liked it? <laughs> you, want, you want my honest opinion? Yeah. My honest opinion is... He's getting the help that he needs. Yo, you're calling him insane? I am. I'm calling Fousey insane. Like, as somebody who is taking, like, three different medications right now to make sure I don't kill myself. Bruh, homie needs to get his shit in check. And I lied, it's actually only two, bro. Lexapro and Vyvanse go hard, bruh, gang shit. Nah, but seriously, like, they're all sitting there smiling like, <laughs> Let's harass the security guard, bro. You saying that Fousey is crazy? You saying that he's insane? Uh, we're just here to enable him and make him do crazier shit. Because as long as he's on our streams, we're on his streams, we're making money. We're making money off his mental illness. Let's drive him into the ground so I can make millions. I'm not calling him insane. I said he's getting the help that he needs. Why does he need help? He needs help, bro. Help with what? His insanity? Whatever his, his situation is. But do you want him to get out or no? Like, of course. Oh. Bro, this security guard is being so real right now. Like, he can obviously see, like, yo, this man needs help. Like, he needs to, like, you know, get his shit in check. He's like, look, I'm happy that he's getting the help he needs. It sucks that it happened how it happened. But, like, homie, like, needs to, like, you know, get his shit right. But he needs to get back to, you know, doing what he's be doing. Like, I want him to get out. I want him to, like, you know, do his stuff. And they're all like, oh, what do you mean? He's saying he's crazy? Are you saying that he's, he's fucking crazy? But, I mean, 
Bro, like, I, I don't get why they're treating him like this. Like, this guy's just being real. Like, they pulled up on him, like, on his way to, like, I don't know. He's clearly, like, trying to, like, walk across the street or doing whatever. And fucking Sneeko and wh whoever these two stupid-ass niggas are, bro. They're just like, <coughs> yeah, we agree with Sneeko. <laughs> We're sucking his dick. <coughs> Beavis and Butthead, yes, men looking ass, bro. Jesus Christ. One thing I've really noticed is that anytime there's, like, a streamer that has, like, the most followers, like, I'm guessing, like, what? It's, like, Fousey, but fussy has gone. Now it's Sneeko and whoever the fuck these two guys are, and they're both just sucking Sneeko's dick like, <laughs> yeah, what Sneeko said, I agree. Sneeko's the big man. And Sneeko's my daddy, bro. I Whatever he says, I agree with. Fuck you, bro. Fucking Fousey's making me money, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you, security guard. But do you want him to get out or no? Like, of course. Oh. He needs to get back to his streaming, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. For real. He definitely needs to get back to his streaming, back to his fans, of course his it. viewers. Bro, they really just interrupted my mans, you know, he's talking about, oh, yeah, man, I really think that after you get the help that he needs, you should get back, you know, be integrated back into society, do all the things that, you know, he's been doing, but, like, on a slightly more mentally stable scale, and they're like, um, how far is it? H how far is the Uber, bro? Wh wh where's the Uber? We just rolled up on this fucking security guard, and we're gonna ask a bunch of questions and not actually listening to him, because, uh, we just wanna, like, clip this so that it goes viral on Twitter, so we get more views and more money. Uh, fuck this guy, dude, where the fuck? Is my Uber? It's just so cringe, man. Like, is, is this dude really wearing, like, blue shorts, white shirt, and a bow tie? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Sneeko looks dripped out. I fuck with the outfit, you know? I haven't really fucked with Sneeko, you know, ever since that cuties video he made a couple years ago dropped. And I was just like, bro, what? Uh, no. But, like, I can't lie. Man's fit? Fire. Weird white guy with the sideways hat acting like he's black in the 80s? Mm, cringe. That other guy, mega cringe, dude. What, what? I don't. Who are these dudes? Who are these dudes? And they're sitting over here being disrespectful as f to the security guard, man. And he's just sitting there trying to get wherever he's going, and they're just disrespecting him, bro. Like it's not cool. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't take that. You know, if it were me, I'd start swinging on niggas. You know, I'm just saying. You know, look, I try to instigate, but I'm just saying. Uh, one minute. Okay. He just needs to get the help that he needs. You're right. He needs help. I want to link up. Chat. That's when me and Fousey link again, like that was like a stop clout chasing. Can I speak, motherfucker? Bro, do one of be black guy just say, uh, stop clout chasing? Stop clout chasing. Can I? Bro, first of all, I know he ain't talking, talking about clout chasing, bro. Stop clout chasing. You're literally interviewing him. You're asking him questions about what he thinks. Are you fucking retarded? Like, I don't even know who you are. At least I've seen bow tie looking, Steve Urkel looking, SpongeBob, no license having ass looking dude on Twitter a couple times. I don't even know who you are. You're literally dressed like you missed the 80s talking about, I was born in the wrong generation. I wear my hat sideways and my pants baggy and I rap like, yo, yo, yo. It's the farmhouse. I'm in this house. Look, bro, just shut up. Shut up. Talking about cloud chasing. I don't know who you are. You're literally dick sucking and cloud chasing on Sneeko and whoever the dude is next to you. Anyways, that's the end of that clip. Uh, screw those guys. They all suck. Let's get back to Fousey's original. I mean, crazy people jail. My Discord kitten didn't hit Hit me up please help come back video but you guys are being really weird so forget about it just want to say hi i miss y'all i'm currently under what's it called this 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 thing the cops put me under i have no idea i forgot the name of the act when you can't leave a mental hospital until you get clearance it's not a nice act <laughs> it's not a nice act the nothing nice act it's what happens when you're not nice this is what santa claus warned us all about as kids Fousey's on the naughty list. He's getting coal shoved up his fucking asshole for Christmas. Um, can't leave the hospital until I get clearance from the police. So I've been here for four days now. They drug me up every day. Anytime I say something wrong, wallahi, they put a needle this big into my arm. Dude, man's a super traumatized talking about they put a really long needle inside of me. But didn't he like, what, what was it like three, four days ago say, I'm going to stick nine inches of steel deep into your neck and then shove it down into your penis. I literally told him if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm sliding it down your penis. Dude is literally like getting what he manifested. You know, he manifested uh, nine inches of steel inside of his cup and now he's getting it yeah karma's a bitch seriously though like all jokes aside i'm glad he's getting help like it sucks that it happened the way that it happened like we've seen before you know he gets really big gets super mainstream and then he goes crazy and man's definitely need some help and he looks you know a lot more chill in this video you know he still has an air of oh man bro why isn't like my fame getting me a lot of attention while i'm locked up here but like he seems a lot more chilled out and honestly good for him
Good for him. But I love y'all. I made the point four second shot. I got fouled out. That's all it is. I'll be back. Y'all know that. Season two on the way. We champions now. Let's get it. G7, baby. I fouled out, bro. What happened to me? Just like what happened to LeBron at that one Lakers game seven years ago, dude. Uh, I'll be back. What is even the meaning behind G7? Like, like what? Is is that like a car? Like, what? God 7? Because, like, God and, like, 777? Seven, seven, seven. I, I, I... I don't know, bro. Th this man's is weird. But anyways, like, glad he's doing good. Glad he's getting the help that he needs, like, actually. Uh, he needs to stop hanging around all these stupid people and be around some people who are, like, actually trying to show him support and love and have him get better. Like, he can definitely be, like, a good content creator, like, when he was supposedly super broke and homeless, like, a year ago. Like, I feel like he was a way better person then, because he was, like, you know, maybe making 300k a year, which doesn't sound like a lot compared to what he was making, but is really still a lot of money. Like, back when he said he was broke making like 15 to 30k a month like dude was a lot chiller of a person then he was like oh man i got a seven million dollar kick deal fuck everybody oh dude i'm gonna hire and fire seven security guards in a fucking day dude which actually did happen it wasn't seven allegedly it was six allegedly but uh yeah anyways that was the end of that video that was the end of that clip uh if you guys enjoyed this video that i made slap a fat like on it and if you're new subscribe i'd really appreciate that and also you guys should follow all my socials twitter instagram twitch which i will be streaming after this video uploads in about 30 45 minutes after this goes live but uh yeah hope you guys are having a fantastic day i've been lofi Peace out, Brewski.